Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the Foxwoods Marine Theater. Please put your hands together for your sea lion trainer for today's show, Julie Fermensky. Well, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Foxwoods Marine Theater. Today, you guys are going to get to learn all about these wonderful animals, the California sea lions. In today's show, you'll learn about the differences between a sea lion and a seal. You'll see how perfectly adapted they are for their life out in the environment, and even learn about some of the brand new training that we're working but before we get into all of that, I do want to introduce you all to the stars of today's show. So let's go ahead and meet them. The first thing I need to join me is working with me today. His name is Jenny. Jenny is our six-year-old male sea lion. He weighs in at over 200 pounds. And for Jenny's introduction, he's going to share with you a very enthusiastic sea lion dance. Right, let's give Jenny a round of applause. Sitting in the center of the stage is our oldest and largest sea lion. His name is Coco. Coco is going to turn 29 this summer. He weighs in at over 600 pounds. He's working with his trainer Kim today. And Kim and Coco are going to show you his sea lion spin. Sitting next to the rock, we have one of our female sea lions. Her name is Callie. Callie is six years old. She weighs around 150 pounds. She's going to be working with my good friend Sarah today. And Sarah's going to show you this fun behavior with Callie. It's a brand new behavior that she just learned. Ta-da! And then the last sea lion that you're going to meet is our youngest and smallest one. Coming to the center of the stage is Pip. Pip is only a year and a half old. She weighs 65 pounds. She just joined us here in the theater about four months ago, so she's the newest addition to us. Her trainer is going to be Jen throughout today's show, and Jen's going to show you one of the very first behaviors that we train Pip. Check it out. That was a great jump for Pip. So now that you all have met the stars of today's show, we're going to move on and start talking about one of the most popular questions that we get asked up here by our guests. That question is, how do you tell the difference between a sea lion and a seal? Some of you out there, you might think that these animals are seals, but they're not. They're sea lions. And today, I'm going to give you all some pointers that will help you to tell the difference between the two. So first, take a look at that big screen behind us, and you'll see a picture of a harbor seal. And if you look closely at that harbor seal's front flipper, you should notice that it is very short. But compare that short front flipper to the flipper of our sea lions here on stage, and you'll find that sea lions have longer front flippers. An interesting fact about that sea lion's front flipper is that if you were to look at an x-ray, it will look very similar to that of a human hand. Sea lions have five finger-like digits, just like you and I have five fingers on our hands. But sea lions will use their flippers very differently, especially when it comes to swimming. What a sea lion will do is they'll use their powerful front flippers, and they're going to move them in an up-and-down wing-like motion, which will pull them through the water. We're going to see if Callie can show all of you just how fast she can swim across the surface of our pool. Let's hear it for Callie. If you were to watch a seal swim in the pool, it's going to look very different. Seals, remember, they don't have those big front flippers. So instead to swim, they use their hind flippers. They'll move those hind flippers from side to side, and that's going to push the seal through the water. So seals and sea lions, they have different sized flippers. They use those flippers differently for swimming. And the last difference that I'm going to share with all of you today is how these animals move on land. If you take a look at all of our sea lions here on stage, you should notice that they're sitting upright, and they're supporting most of their body weight on those big front flippers. But something that you might not know about a sea lion is that they have a rotating hip bone. And this means that they can rotate their hind flippers underneath them and then stand up on all fours. This is important for sea lions because of where they're found. 
off the rocky coast of California, Oregon, Washington, and even the Galapagos Islands. And because those shores can be quite rocky, it's really important that sea lions have the ability to climb. One reason that sea lions are such good climbers is because they have high tail mobility found in those front flippers. As sea lion swimmers, they are so mobile that they can independently lift each one of them. Let's see if Callie, can Jenny, Callie and Jenny can show you just how well they can move those front flippers. If we were to have a seal up here on stage, it will move completely different. Seals, remember, they don't have those big front flippers. They also don't have that rotating hip bone. The only thing that a seal will do when it moves on land, it'll flop around on its belly. It can feel a lot like a caterpillar. Now, Jenny, here does a great impression of a seal moving on land. You guys want to see it? All right, I give you Jenny the sea lion seal impression. Good. Let's give them a round of applause. a sea lion or a seal. Just remember what we talked about in today's show. Take a look at the size of the animal's front flippers. How are they using those flippers, both on land and in the water? I bet you're all going to be able to tell which one is which. Now we're going to move on and talk about how perfectly adapted these sea lions are for their life out in the environment. They're excellent hunters. One reason that they're such good hunters is because they have a very long and flexible neck. A sea lion's neck is so flexible that they can touch their nose to their spines. That flexible neck will come in handy as a sea lion will swim to schools of thousands of fish. What they'll do is stretch that neck out in any direction to be able to catch their fish as they're swimming by. Then once they grab onto those fish, they hold on tight. Sea lions have a very powerful tooth and jaw structure that's similar to that of a bear's. It's a big mouth that's filled with big, sharp teeth. And if you look at that big screen one last time, up there you're going to see a picture of the inside of Coco's mouth. You can definitely see just how many teeth sea lions have. But even though sea lions have all of those teeth, did each and every one of you out there know that they don't use them for chewing? Every single fish that a sea lion eats is swallowed down whole in only one big gulp. And we're going to show you what that looks like. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give Jenny a fish, and he has been trained to hold on to that fish until he hears me clap my hands. But once I clap, you should see that fish disappear in that one big gulp. Now sometimes Jenny eats his fish, so let's hope that he can hold on to this one. Alright, he's got it. So as soon as I clap, you'll see it disappear. 